NMF TV. Silence your radio, kill your television. NMFTV.com Chuck Hollow and Polo, real heads, listen it, got just to the intros, knowledge of the realness, y'all should really feel this, always down the ball, hard on y'all's witness, straight up from the amateurs to the pros, drop science cause we wanna let everybody know, that this here is really for the real fans, for those who love the game man, really understand, for those who've never really been bandwagon fans, listen to the real talk, straight up from the stands. <laughs> and oh, oh. <laughs> star power <laughs> he's here he's here hey, hey. he's here <laughs> and he's not video bombing he's not he's video not, video. not yet he's not here. here not yet at least not yet yeah. we have us here on from the stands for one time grand slam champion Million time <laughs> TV champion. <laughs> there it is. No, there it is. I, yeah, see, a veteran, I it. A veteran oh, of many, many it. wars in the TV. <laughs> Joe Devant is in the house! Hey. Can I just say, Joe, yes. like seeing you up and close up close and personal. Okay. You did not look like this when you were in Alaska. <laughs> Yeah. You started doing that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm no, I'm just saying like, I'm just saying like, you look fantastic. Uh. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You, know, I was, like, uh, you want them gone? I mean... I I'm going now. <laughs> I said everything I wanted to say. <laughs> I mean, I am a little bit more muscular right now, as you can see. Yes. You know, but... Uh, yeah, we saw too much. Yeah, we, saw, yeah. saw, <laughs> we saw everything. <laughs> no, nah, but uh, I mean, in my Alaska days, I was a little bit thicker, but... Uh, I mean, those were my MVP number days, yeah. you know, so, I mean, those are good days, too, you know, I mean, it's different good days, different good days. Yeah, it's not about those good days later. Yeah. <laughs> First introductions to my left is Paul Obsamante. What's up? To my other right is uh, Carlo Pomituan. What's up? And we are here to talk about all things All-Star Weekend with the great Joe Devance in the house. Mm -hmm. All right, so before we get into the whole Terrence Romeo, the whole Calvin Abueva brouhaha, we need to talk about the highlight, arguably, yeah, for in, sure. in arguably, the highlight arguably. of the PBA uh, All-Star Weekend. It wasn't all the dunks of Ray Guevara. It wasn't all the different dunks of whoever else was there. No. It was one moment. One moment that was uh, highlighted by Justin Melton and Joe DeVance. Can we play the, the Play video? that. Oh, play yeah. that. All his life, people told Justin Melton no, he couldn't dunk with a blindfold on. But yeah. innovators don't S listen S to S the doubters. Yeah. Justin, yeah. Yeah, Justin was an innovator. Okay. Okay, here he go. soared through the air like a majestic oh, bird, gonna, changing everything gonna, we thought we knew about basketball. He's getting this Higher and higher he climbed, reaching for destiny. Did he make it? Did he make it? But look at look, look at the pose after. <laughs> that swag right there. There's there are, there are just so many. Can, Pico, can you rewind to like the exact same spot and then? Um, so there there's just so much. I, I don't even know where to start with this. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take it one at a time. Uh, All right. Oh, start up. Start up. Start up. The setup. So dito palang, you're extremely sweaty. Yeah, I was a little bit. It was hot. It was hot, right? That gym was you were dancing. Yeah, you were yeah, dancing. dancing. You were giving it all. Yeah, yeah. And then you proceed to tie Justin Melton's face <laughs> with, your with my sweaty shirt. shirt. With your sweater, yeah. Sweaty, yeah, yeah. So that, that's yeah. friendship yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so at this shit. point, this is something that you, that Melton said, you know, I'll take one for the team. Yeah, yeah. He did say that. I told him too. I said, sorry for my sweaty shirt. <laughs> See right there, you see? Yeah. You see how I'm kind of leaning towards a little bit? I see, yeah. Sorry for my switch. <laughs> so that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's, it. that's it right there. That, that, that moment that right there. Moment, that, was, that, yeah, moment. that was a perfect okay. pause. So, so at this point, it was already impossible for Melton to, to advance. Yeah. So you ready? You guys knew you were just going to go for... We knew, yeah. We talked about... Info, yeah, yeah, prior. Infamous. Yeah, we was talking about this for about a week or two. Really? Even before this. Uh, he had shown me a clip of what... Uh, Baron Davis did, yeah. Yeah. I think the 2001 one or whatever yeah. it was, yeah. yeah, so he had shown me a clip and he was like, uh, and just from there we was just talking about uh, how, we, how we was going to set it up and then right before the dunk contest we was, talk, we was like really okay. talking about like how we were going to plan it, I asked him, I was like, so how's the, like what's the, the format right now? Yeah. And he said something about they get a minute uh, to make dunks or something uh, like that, so I was like, well look, try to win. 
All right, try to win the dunk contest. But he was like, you know what, Joe, the rim is kind of hot. <laughs> I said, well, what? yeah, that's what he said. I guess the rims was like, the rim was I hot. don't know. That's what he said. I said, no, it's not, Mel. And then I, I tried to dunk it. And then, of course, I can't dunk. <laughs> so, Come on, you can dunk. I mean, I have to get my knees warmed up. Right. Really good. Yeah, you can't just walk up and then Yeah, yeah I can't okay. just walk up. Yeah, it's my knees. But, uh... Yeah, so then we had set it up right before uh, the dunk contest and just saying, like, just try to win. And then if, if it doesn't if work it out, doesn't work yeah, out yeah, then yeah. this is what we're going to do. And then we even said, like, we're going to be famous. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, if we pull this off right, we're going to be famous. <laughs> but we thought we was just going to be famous here in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, man, everybody's going to know us right. here in the Philippines. So, okay, so the next part is probably my favorite part of the video. So, Pico, can you play it a bit? Okay, okay, I go. used to think <laughs> that it's this part. It's this part. Right there. Yeah. You see that? You see that? But like the way that that mountain was, was I don't know, yeah. yeah. Like I thought something amazing was gonna happen. Uh -huh. I thought you guys practiced up. it. I thought you guys practiced. No, it no, we just kind of freestyled that. And then right you're there. the hype man in the back. Yeah, what, yeah. what are you trying to tell people that? No, that you know point? what? I mean, to be honest, I tried to steal the show a little bit, you know, because <laughs> you tried. To steal yeah, I had to take my shirt off and everything, and yeah. then the announcer said my name, so I'm like, oh, guys, this, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, this is my dunk. So Melton's blindfolded. He's about to to, to, to try a uh, uh, no look free throw line dunk, and you're still trying to steal. Yeah, I'm still right. trying to steal it right there. I had to. I had to steal okay. it. But yeah, I mean, Pico, uh, play it a little bit. All right. Here we go. I like the slope. Oh, there we go. See, I like there the we slope. go. Stop, stop, stop right there. Okay, go deeper, go deeper. Like when you get to the air. From the free throw line? Almost, man. Almost, yeah. almost, almost. Right. It's about a step in. About yeah. a step in. Why wow, okay. he took off? So get pause. The best part here is he wasn't even trying like a like a Jordan dunk. No, he was going with He was doing the windmill, the best part. I, Like I, I thought he was gonna jump like, like a shred. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what's cool is he really did the full yeah, he windmill. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, he brought yeah. it all the way down and then tried to bring it, but. Then, I mean, then we know what happened. Yeah, then yeah, we know what happens. Yeah, it's, 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 it's gonna it's, go it's, down in, in like. It's all his. There you go. He tried to dunk it hard, too. He tried to dunk it hard. He, he tried to dunk he it hard. He the air. Yeah, yeah. It's not like he was just trying to reach for whatever. No, yeah, he, was really he, was he was literally, he thought that he was there. He just pulled the Andre. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It, it would have been this, nice. It, there weren't like any any slits in the in the in your shirt. No, it was it was just straight sweatiness. Oh. <laughs> all right here in the face right here. Then it was probably I don't know like it was getting all in his eyes. Yeah, sweat. teary eyed yeah, and everything. Yeah, That's oh, what he man. told me. That was that was that, awesome. that was highlight. That was highlight. That was highlight. There, let's show yeah. another highlight of uh, yeah yeah. yeah. Joe I like Brian. this. You Joe, had a lot of fun. This is I had a lot of you fun. You had a lot of fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is your performance. Yeah, that's you. That's me? That's you. Uh-oh. Why, watch how I look at the camera, though. Right here. Look, look. Right. Look, look. He's coming. Look. Oh! You see my face? Look at my face. You own that. You yeah, own that. Yeah, I had to do it. I had look, look. <laughs> you made Randy Del Del Campo laugh. Smile. You yeah, yeah, and you know, smile, yeah, you know, you right? know, RDO don't smile neither. You made you know, RDO you know. smile. You make Belga smile. That's what I do. You know, I do that to the best of them. You know, <laughs> I make people smile. So, so what's that all completely ad lib? Uh, did, did Jimmy uh, yeah. like that? Okay, we're gonna dance. We're gonna do the hip hop thing, but then we're gonna clear. No, you know what? The th well, yeah, I guess that's the thing right now. Like everybody wants me to just. Like, watch out, guys, and let me do my thing. Okay. Which, I mean, I'm cool with that, you know, like, but sometimes it's like, oh, man. Like, now I don't really know what to do, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. I mean, it's so much pressure, <laughs> you know, into being the twerk king, you know what I mean? It's it's tough being the twerk king, you know. Uh, I mean, I just got to come up with, like, new dances, and that's why I did that, you yeah. know, like, went went backwards with yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm just trying to wonder, like, what life experiences led you to think of doing the <laughs> reverse twerk? Yeah. No, yeah. No, the, no, 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 reverse twerk. Yeah. Reverse twerk. Yeah, the reverse. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what led me to do that. You know, like, I mean, it's just a talent that I possess <laughs> that I don't, don't know where it comes from. Oh, oh, see that? Look at that. You see the booty gyration? Yeah, yeah, we see it. Yeah, see look. And then, then the face. Yeah, the face, <laughs> the pump thrust. See, that's that's all hip action. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's with tight hips. Yeah, I got yeah. tight hips. Yeah, I'm gonna stretch it. As long as your as long as your knees don't don't get hurt. Yeah, then I'm alright. That's yeah. conditioning. <laughs> yeah.
That's see the ab? Hard. You see the yeah, ab right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, see, yeah, see Don't embarrass us, man. Just expand back to me and Polo so that people can feel good about themselves again. Oh, yeah, so. No, that was fun. You had, you had a lot of fun. Yeah, that was, yeah, that that was, was clearly fun. the highlight of. Um, of the All Star awesome. yeah. weekend. Yeah. 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 The highlight? Yep. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, those, cool. Those man. Yeah, those, yeah, those two moments. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we make history. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, we actually wanted to pick your brain uh, on something now. Okay. Um, like, obviously, we had fun with the whole Melton thing. And the All Star game in itself, it, it ended up being really a lot of fun. Yeah. It, it went it really down to was. the wire. Um, high you scoring. Had high scoring. Like, usu- usually, when you talk All Star games, it's. You don't usually, like in the PBA, it, it, it's, there's still a lot of defense being played in. But yeah. this one, it felt like you guys just sort of let loose and, and made a lot of baskets. Yeah. So, but then at the end of the day, uh, the, the PBA chose Terrence Romeo as, as the MVP. And, uh, and a lot of people were thinking that it, it would have gone to Calvin Abueba. Mm-hmm. Uh, let, let's, look, let's look at the statistics. Those are good stats by Calvin Abueba. He's wow. high. 37, That's 16, cool. and 7. Wow. He's, he's high. Yeah. Those are great stats. Those are good stats. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> hey. And then Romeo on the other side, uh, 30 points, 3 okay, rebounds, rebounds zero, 0 assists. So just another day. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. just another yeah, day. Yeah, just kind of like what he does yeah, in, you know, in the it, league. Just, yeah. uh, just a run of the mill global part yeah. game. But, um, I mean, that, yeah, that, those stats are crazy. Yeah. I didn't, I to be honest, I didn't even know Calvin did that well. I mean, I didn't know. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> I was just trying to have fun, you know what I mean? Or I didn't even know Terrence had 30 points, to yeah. be honest. But, uh, I mean, they're both great talents. Uh, I actually just heard that. I, get, I don't know what controversy, I don't know if you call this controversy. Uh, yeah, it's just a thing, like, yeah, uh, I mean, that. when it's All-Star Weekend and not a lot of PBA fans don't have a lot to do, so. Yeah. But, I mean, for, for, for Alaska fans, and I think you know this, they're yeah. a very outspoken very. group, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and they always have their guy. Right, right. They're right. always looking out for their players. Yeah, they always want true. the best for them. That's why, you know, a lot of, a lot of them are up in arms with, uh, with this whole Calvin Abueva not getting an MVP thing. I mean, if you see the numbers, yeah, that does look kind of crazy. Ego, Ego, Carlo, mm. do you think that Abueva did enough? Yeah. So, why did he MVP? I have no idea. I really have no idea. Um, the best explanation I got was from James, um, who was the analyst for that game. He said that James Velasquez. they picked Abueva and Romeo as co-MVPs, co-MVPs but only one was announced. I, I really have no idea. Hmm. Interesting. I, I, okay, well, you, I didn't think it was that bad, the MVP pick. Um, I, I, okay, when you look at the numbers, comparing them head it to head, yeah, yeah. It, it's really all Calvin Abueva. But I think they chose Terrence Romeo because he played well in the clutch. He had, he had some clutch shots Wonderful, to help yeah. uh, the North team. North. Yeah, North team, yeah. North team, yeah, 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 North, North team North. pull away. So I think that's why they, that's why they went um, Terrence Romeo. But, Abuevo was doing work throughout the entire game, and yeah. you gotta give that props. Yeah, that's I guess crazy. the question, if, if I'm an Alaska fan, I guess the question here is, do you think Calvin Abueva has it in him to win uh, an, an individual, like an MVP or a BPC? Because he has been so close so many times, mm-hmm. but they just can't seem to you know, give him the BPC or the MVP. Do you think he'll ever win one? Uh, I mean, it just depends. Uh, it's hard because there's Jumar Fajardo. You yeah. know what I mean? Like honestly, I think he's going to be the next MVP for your future. Straight five years or whatever. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be tough to beat Jumar. But uh, I mean, Calvin is a close is a close second. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I mean, it it just depends. It's going to be if that's what he's worried about. I mean, I'm, I don't know. That'll be that's true. Hard. That's true. Yeah. If, if yeah. he's just worried about getting MVP, if they're looking for the individual yeah, athletes, yeah. Then that's yeah. yeah that's. I, I guess that's that's the curious thing about Calvin Abueva. Um, because we were we were looking at at uh, at players uh, who were comparable to Calvin, and then one of the one of our um, friends on Twitter actually compared them to to Nelson Asaitona. Mm-hmm. Like Asaitona is a guy who had all of the. He was a beast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah all yeah. of the individual stats, but. Yeah. It just so happened he he always went up against like better competition. Mm-hmm. So it, it was Nelson, then kasabayan niya si Abariento, mm-hmm. si Jolas, and all of these guys, and even uh, with with SMB, with sila Ildefonso and and Siga, like they stole his thunder. Oh, and man, yeah. I, I don't know, maybe maybe that's that's is that is that a thing? Do you agree with the comparison? The, the I like, think is Calvin so. the next Nelson as I told? And because Nelson in his time um, competed with like more popular players, as you said, there yeah. there was Patrimonio and mm-hmm. stuff. Uh, 
How can I not say Alvin Batumbo? Because you're yeah. a biased Alaska fan. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That was very biased. Yeah. Yeah. That was right? very biased. Right? That, was, that was horrible. I feel yeah, so dirty right now. Jeez. Wow. I'm stunned right now. Yeah, me too. Yeah, was, I should just go home. That was crazy. Yeah. That was Here we go. Crazy. Reverse. Yeah. I'll make it up for you guys. <laughs> to the base. To the base. <laughs> So yeah, so better competition, Alvin. I, I, yeah. Well, in Calvin's defense, I don't really think it's better competition because Calvin is really good. He's really, I mean, talented. Uh, hustles. His hustle is undeniable. You know what I mean? Like there's no, there's no stopping Calvin. You know what I mean? I give him that credit. But I mean, I don't really think it's just better competition. I just think Jumar is just that good. Yeah, he's really that good. Huh. You know, Jumar is just. He's he's really, he's really. I mean, they're both beasts, but he's really the beast. The you beast. Know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. even his voice. Hey, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> like, oh shoot. Hey. So, what's the yeah. funniest conversation you've had with Junior Fire? Though? Just uh, dang, what was it? It was. I think it was this past game. I said, Jumar, you just gonna hit me like that? And then, because he tried to get me with a seeker yeah. on my chest, yeah. I was like, oh, you just going to hit me like that? That's why you got six fouls. <laughs> and he was like, huh. And then he just walked. <laughs> so it's about what he doesn't say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what he does what he yeah, actually yeah. says. Yeah, so his voice is so scary, right? Yeah. Yeah, so big. Yeah, I mean, with this whole, with this whole Abueva thing, I feel like it's just going to wash away in, a, in, like, in a few weeks. Or not? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 well, yeah for sure. I would just, think so. Yeah, yeah. Except for Alaska fans, because we're uh, very sensitive. Yeah, you guys bunch. are sensitive. <laughs> speaking of, <laughs> speaking of Alaska fans, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Um, let's save it. Let's save it. No way. We'll save that for last. Yeah, we'll save that for for last. For um, yeah. we wanted to ask you then about Jimmy mm-hmm. Like, like real, like real quickly. Um. We felt like it was the perfect send off for Alapag to just finish his game. Um, yeah. What What was the mood like uh, in, in the in the locker or like heading towards the game? Or were, were there like any moments that stood out, um, knowing that this was going to be Alapag's like official last game in the PBA? Well, it was cool because just he, was he sentimental that, or he was cool? About he was, it? Yeah, he was sensitive. I mean, not like overly sensitive, back, you know, with us. Uh, mm. But you can see his emotion when he got onto the court. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, yeah. speech and stuff. But uh, it was cool just for me personally. I mean, I've been in this league, uh, what, eight years or something like that. I've never really had a chance to be around Jimmy that much. Mm. And uh, just for him to be in the, in the little practice that we, we did have and, and the huddle before the game, I mean, you can truly see his leadership. You know what I mean? Uh, and that was pretty, that was, that was cool to see. I mean, it was, it was, like a learning experience. I mean, just for me, I, I think I'm the leader on, on, on my team. Mm. And just to see how he automatically just took that took leadership. leadership. I mean, even on the All-Star, but it was just cool to see. You know what I mean? And it was a, it was a great experience to, to just be around him for his, uh, for his last game. And it was pretty, it was, it was emotional for me. I mean, I, there was a lot of times where I got goosebumps and stuff like that. So it was cool. It was, it was nice. What's your favorite Jimmy Alapag memory of this career? Um, Internationally, you, you played the against him a lot. Yeah, actually. yeah. I mean, it was. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, he had huge threes, but for me, it was uh, that Korea game. Mm, I mean, yeah. that was that was. I mean, me and my wife was there at that game, and it was just that was crazy. Like I, it. My wife's. She's not. Uh, She's not Filipino, right? She's Hispanic, full Mexican American, right? But even her, she got really okay. emotional. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She even got. Remember, sweetie? Is there a camera? <laughs> oh, there's no way we Should can I move get the her. camera? Where is it? Oh. Oh, oh okay, yeah. <laughs> we'll move it later. We'll yeah. Move it later. Yeah. yeah, but even her, she got like really emotional. You know what I mean? And I thought that was, that was big. That meant a lot to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was pretty cool. That that game was was just really, really Yeah, crazy. and it's and it's the most amazing thing, like it's not coming from like a six ten player like June Mar Fajardo or, or like a or like a power like an athletic power forward like Gabe Norman. Or it's even coming, like the import or exactly, something. Exactly. It's like coming that. from the yeah. smallest it's guy in the team. The Mighty Mouse. Yeah. You know, they don't call him that for nothing, you yeah. know. I mean it, it he has the, the, the biggest heart. And and you played against Jimmy a lot, uh, in your in your Grand Slam mm-hmm. run last year. It must have been terrifying to 
Like every time you saw him about to pull up for a three. Yeah, it was uh, it was tough. Uh, it was tough with uh, with him there, and then especially with Jason Castro, like them playing together. Yeah. Man, it, I mean, you just don't know what to do. You yeah. know, you just kind of have to pick your poison. But uh, you know what? I remember one story actually. It was in one of the finals. I was with Alaska actually. Oh, cool. And uh, in the 2009, finals. 2009, 2010. When did we play Sorry. them? 2009. Yeah, 2009. Yeah, in the finals. Yeah, when they, they beat us. Yeah. Uh four three. We it's was okay. up actually. It's we a was a great up. series. Yeah, it was a great series. And uh I don't know what it was. Me and Jimmy was wrestling for the ball or something like that and like it was about to go out of bounds. And uh I tried to save it and I threw it off him or something happened like that. And you know, I started screaming because it was our ball, yeah. but not at Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. you know, yeah, like yeah, ah, yeah. And then Jimmy comes out of nowhere and just pushes me. <laughs> so then, so then I'm like yelling or whatever. And then he comes back and like kind of pushes me. I didn't even do this. I just you know kind of did like that. Like man, what was yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And then I looked down and then it was Jimmy. And Jimmy was looking at me like that, right? And then he was like, <laughs> I was like, man, Jimmy, you better watch out, man. But uh, that was that was a, a crazy moment too. That was pretty funny. I, I'm that's like one of my moments I will cool. never forget. Um. Talking about about Grand Slam, uh, me it, it's funny because we were talking about uh, San Miguel. Uh, I'm not talk, gonna talk about Alaska. Mm. We, no, <laughs> we're talking about we're talking about um, San Miguel SMB the past few episodes, and we were wondering about the whole championship hangover thing. Um, and then you can't help but sort of compare it to what you guys did last year. I mean, it, it's like looking at SMB now. It sort of makes what you guys did last year even more amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you had to go through championship hangover thrice. I mm-hmm. mean, you, you beat uh, you won in uh, versus yeah. versus Petron, mm-hmm. then you won against Rainer Shine. I mean, like is, is championship hangover like a legitimate thing that all champions really have to to get through? Yeah, it is. I mean. Especially in this league, you go to a game seven or whatever the finals is, you have four or five days off. I mean, you put your body through so much in the in the whole playoff series, not just in the finals, but even more in the finals. Mm-hmm. And then you get four days off and then you got to start all yeah. over again. You know yeah. what I mean? And just being in those finals, you have the crowd, you have everything, you know, like the build up and everything. And then next thing you know, you're playing Global Porter, Kia, <laughs> the first game. No offense. Yeah, no, no offense. offense, no offense. That's yeah. just yeah, reality. Yeah, that's no reality. offense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're playing them in the first game, and then it's like first game four o'clock with yeah, no people in the yeah, yeah, with that. Yeah, the crowd's game. not yeah, really yeah, that yeah, big. On a Tuesday, you know what I mean? so, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know. So it's pretty. Those are like just small battles that you have to overcome that not many people know about. You know what I mean? And and really, it's not. I'm not putting Key or Glowport down. It's just. It's a reality. Yeah, it's a reality. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And. uh those are just little things, yeah, that just makes it tough. So, um, and then Kia beats you, right? Yeah, they beat, oh my God. Right, yeah, yeah see? You know what see? Yeah, see? Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, Oh my gosh. Man, I forgot about you. Thanks, thanks for reminding me. Jeez. How did Coach Tim prepare you guys for you know, battling champions? Yeah, I was about over. to ask that. But how, like, what did, what did you guys have that SMB is still looking for right now? Um, it was... It was it was a combination of things. Uh, first, I think it was time management. Um, I mean, because the first five or uh, six, I think if uh, I mean you have to include Mark coming off the bench or whatever, but he because I mean, he plays a lot of minutes. So it was really just Coach Tim would have our meetings before every conference and kind of throughout the conference to keep reminding us, like guys, you know, don't be mad at me. You know, I'm just gonna kind of limit your minutes a mm-hmm. little bit and you know we're gonna peak at the right time you know what i mean and that was really our battle our battle thing throughout that whole year was just be ready for playoffs okay. just be ready for playoffs like prepare get ready uh, in the in the eliminations to prepare for playoffs and then once playoffs came we was like all we got to do is make it to the finals if we make it to the finals we're gonna win you know what I mean, and that was our thing. Like we was really confident in a series that we was that we was gonna win. You so, know? You, so there was this confidence that you guys were still the better team. Yeah. No matter. No yeah. Matter. I mean, it. Yeah. I, I guess you. It. We was confident, but you know, we weren't like overly confident. Uh-huh. Like I mean, there was. We got. I mean, lucky a few games just with. Um, who was it? Elaine Malixi hit a huge shot to win a game. I mean, how many times did James hit? 
you know, a few uh, great shots just to win the game. You know what I mean? So that whole run was, it was a, it was luck too. You know, I'm not gonna. It was, it was luck, hard work. Uh, I mean, battling through all, everything. You know what I mean? It was tough though. It was, but that whole year was very memorable. It was very memorable. Uh, the ups and the downs that we went through was cool. Okay. One question. I have one question. I mean, yeah. that time out when you were about to lose the Grand Slam. I mean, when when the run ended with with Coach Tim against Meralco. Oh shoot! Yeah. We were all moved by that time out. I mean, all oh, PBA yeah, yeah, fans yeah, yeah, who yeah, watched yeah, that yeah, time yeah. out felt that they could do something special after yeah, yeah. yeah, <laughs> I thought you guys were still going to win. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, they're, oh, they're going to win. They're going to figure this out. They're going to pull this out. Down what? by 15. 15, yeah, yeah. 15 points? It oh, it's just five James yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is when they turn it yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I was going through your mind when, when Coach Tim talked to you like that? <sighs> Me personally? First, what, what, what was happening? I mean, what, what was he mad at? Uh... He was mad at me, I think. You? Yeah. <laughs> he so, was, sorry I, for I bringing think, this think, up. Yeah, no, it's all right. Time, yeah, but. yeah. I think he really was mad at me just because I was so emotional. Uh, I was, I was mad, and uh, I just kind of, and I showed it. You know what I mean? And I guess that was just being a, uh, I mean, a captain and a leader of this team. You know, I can't really show my, I shouldn't show my frustrations like how I did. You know what I mean? But, I mean, I have high hopes for this team, every conference, every game. And just sometimes when we don't live up to it in my head, you know, I, I, I battle that frustrations. You know what I mean? And that time, that whole conference, I was, I was pretty frustrated. I'm not going to lie. I was pretty frustrated. And uh, that last game, I mean, just kind of, it just kind of, you know. Yeah. Boiled over. Yeah, yeah, so, but, I mean, it was learning experience, you know, and, and I don't know if, if you have the clip, but, you know, that's what Coach Tim was saying, like, after four championships, you know, this is how you guys are going to act, mm. yeah. So, I mean, and that I, that's just him, I guess, teaching me how to just be a better leader and showing it. Well, you know? for, for what it's worth, I, th I think it worked because you guys look, you guys look awesome to, to start or yeah. throughout this conference. I mean, yeah. you guys look like... You look like you guys are hungry. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's one thing I think. It's it's like striking fear in, mm -hmm. in all of the other PBA teams. Like, okay, beautiful, just pissed again. Mm -hmm. Like we can't catch them anymore in a bad way. Yeah, game, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it was. Because it looks like you guys want to prove yourself all over. Again. Yeah, I mean that's how I felt. Uh, I think I think the team did feel like like that. Uh, our practices were were like really, really intense from the from the start. So. Uh, hopefully we can continue. We went through a bad stretch though this conference with losing what three, yeah, three, three. games. But uh, you know we got Denzel back and stuff like that. So we're going. Marcus is here actually too. So yeah. we're just all yeah. We're just working hard together. Okay. So. so before we go to break, we cannot like stop without asking about the whole Daniel Orton thing. Like like what is there a safe? What are you allowed much, to say? Yeah, is there a, uh, <laughs> both teams played hard uh, answer that you can share with us about that whole uh, experience? Don't get fired. Don't get traded. Yeah, man, my back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you should just take a break. Yeah. No, 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 no. Before yeah. we take a break. <laughs> we need to be... I, I just have one more question. Okay, okay. Is Denzel Bowles really below 6'9"? <laughs> okay, now we can take a break. All right, when we come back... Akala nyo si Justin Melton lang ang kaya-kaya mag-slam ng competition? Nope! We're coming back on From the Stands. What do you think is ailing local football? Well, politics. Should athletes be endorsers? Yes, why not? Why did you refuse to be the Haskell's head coach countless times? I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, like I posted one time a few days ago. Coaching is a thankless job with what's happening with Michael Weiss. Uh, we talked about it already before, uh, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you've worked also somewhere in other countries as well. Uh, there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. Why do you say thankless? Well, you're only as good as the wins. And then let's say it down. Plus, of course, there are other factors like uh, disrespect, honor, honesty, and all of this. Because you're just a coach, you're not a manager. 
uh, you are not the association, you're not the institution. So you, as a coach, you're just an employee. So you're as good only as, as the wins that you have. Hi. They say nothing in this world is free, and for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. First, open iTunes. Your next step, hit the iTunes Store button. A search bar should open up as soon as you do that. Type New Media Factory in the search bar and all your shows should open. Pick the show you like, or all the shows you like, and once that opens, hit the subscribe button. And that's it. You're in. All shows will now be automatically downloaded to your device. from the stands oh, yeah. this is oh with the lovely monica oh, hello oh. This is the, the better half of uh, jdv she is going to be our judge for our fts slam dunk competition but of course in the spirit of justin melton yep. it's going to be blindfolded okay with so with a wet shirt you need to run around more so para mapantayan yeah, yeah. natin. This the, we have a sweaty shirt. We have a replica yeah. wet shirt. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what we we're gonna do is yeah. we're gonna do is we're gonna take turns. I will hold the hoop, the hoop. I will hold the hoop here, and then you guys. Lower. Oh, lower. Sorry, lower. All right, you guys, give me your best uh, slam dunk. Uh, is it lower? <laughs> <laughs> Carlo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't worry, you. I'm gonna try to get as high as I can. All right. Okay, so who wants to start? Okay. Sige, lap lapit ka pa Polo para makita ka nila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, J D V, do you have any um, advice for for yeah, for advice. them? It's my first. Yeah, line whisper slam to them what. Uh, first slam dunk contest you've ever competed in. Blind slam dunk. Right. First yeah. slam dunk. <laughs> That's not a problem. All right. Okay, so. Here we go, here we go, Bala, here we go, here we go. Give me your best, give me your best dunk. Can we get a clap? <laughs> Woo! Let's do this! Oh! 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 That wasn't bad! <laughs> did that go in? No, no. Did it go in? Airball dunk. Yeah. Okay. Justin, we have the score. That, was, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. That's rough. Tough. That's rough. Wow. That wow. is rough. Wow. I, but if I was the judge, I would have given you like like a six. Yeah. <laughs> Something. Right. Okay. Your turn. Your turn. Okay, Carlo. So what's the rough, what's the format right now? Just one round. Just one round. One round. One round. One round. One round. Oh, oh. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, if we have time, maybe we can do two rounds. All right. All right. Okay. Carlo, move back a bit. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. No, maybe I should go here. <laughs> Don't do that, Polo. That, that's not a bad, that's not a good idea. Okay, here we go. Let's go do your thing. Carlo pump into one. Let's go, Carlo. Oh! <laughs> he pulled it up. 
Want to Justin Melton? No. Between the legs. Between the legs. He went, he went between the legs. I didn't see that. He went between the legs. He did better. Uh-oh. Let's see. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! It's over! It's over! It's over! It's over! It's over! All right, all right, all right. I can't reach you, man. But I can't. I can't. I have to take this off. Oh, oh, it's serious now. It's serious right now. For real? Okay, I'm I'm scared to hold the the hoop all of a sudden. So JDV. Yeah, this is a sweaty shirt. It's a sweaty shirt. Yeah. So JDV okay. is going to uh, represent J Justin Melton here in this. Uh, move back a bit, Carla. Move, move back. back. Okay. Sige pa. Sige pa. Okay. So Monica, you need to be as fair as possible. No bias. No bias. No. Okay. Uh, go back a bit, JDV, so you have time to wind up. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Am I still in the camera? You're you're semi in the camera. Don't worry. I got your back. Yeah. I got your back. Do All your right. thing. Yeah, ready? Yeah, do it. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh. Oh! He's twerking! He's twerking! It's in the twerking thing! It's over, ladies and gentlemen! Look at the score, though. Look at the score. Look at the score, look at the score. 100! I told y'all! 100. What? That was... I told y'all! It's over! It's over. That was completely... JDB completely earned that score. You know what I mean? That's my wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, um, th that's actually going to do it for this episode of From the Stands. We want to thank our main man, Joe DeVance, for, for, uh, for uh, joining us here in the show. We appreciate your time, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, I, I've almost forgotten about everything that happened with Alaska. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, to my, on behalf of uh, Paula Busamante, on behalf of Carlo Pamintuan, my name is Chuck Araneta. Oh, on behalf of uh, JDV and Monica, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Oh, we will, there you go. Oh, there you go. There. Uh, one big happy family. We will see you next week for another episode of From the Stands. Peace. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.